Hey, what's up everybody? Hope y'all have been doing good. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so I'm just here to update y'all and kind of show you how my life's been going lately. I have more time now uh, since like our third year of dental school is a lot less labor intensive in terms of like studying. We've already learned a bunch of the stuff they wanted to tell us, so here we are. So with that being said, y'all, we'll get started. So I bought a lawnmower the other day um, so we moved into this house and I have a pretty small yard so I've been like weed eating it for the last few months and I just couldn't take it anymore so I, I kind of just pulled the plug on it and said you know what I'm just gonna buy a small little push mow um, it's an electric one so we'll see how it works I'm gonna not mow today because it's like 25 degrees out right now and plus i i weed eated the yard like uh like a week ago so um but today what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put it all together and we'll put it in my garage and have it ready for the next time okay so i have the mower all set up now this is what it looks like um it is a brushless mower 40 volts, it's electric, um, comes with this little uh, like grass catcher, I guess you could say. Um, it reminds me kind of like an electric car. It's kind of weird. I've only had gas powered mowers, but it comes with two batteries and these are the batteries right here. Um, and I guess it's pretty cool because uh, Hypervolt has like kind of interchangeable batteries and it also came with two of the same um chargers here so from what i understand after you charge these batteries up they go right here in this little slot and then you are able to mow so um for today i'm not going to mow because it's like 25 degrees outside but in the future um, when I do mow we'll see how this works so over the weekend I actually ended up running a local 5k it was called the Bigfoot Dash it was actually really good um, there were about 150 to 200 people that showed up it was actually on a whim that I, I signed up for it I didn't really make much out of it it was my first race uh, into the new year so I decided I was just going to kind of run it low and slow. I ended up coming in I think it was actually sub 30. Uh, my final time was about I think it was 28 minutes. Um, at this moment in time what you're seeing is actually the beginning of the race. This is actually a hard course because it bottlenecks right here so if you're wanting to go fast you really have to be in the front. Um, it was about 40 degrees out and windy, so it took a little bit to get warm, but as you see me coming in here, I was actually um, ready to be finished with this 5K. After the race, we went to a local coffee shop here in Holotas, Texas, and it was awesome. If you guys ever get the chance, go take a look at Texas Grounds Coffee Company. They brew their coffee daily and we actually got to see them actually roast the beans. All right, welcome to the home gym, the pain cave, the garage, whatever you want to call it. Um, so today we're doing a 15 minute um, EMOM, um, burpees, push-ups, and squats and then i'm gonna do a like 15 to 30 minute walk on the treadmill this is the treadmill i mean i got it for free so i'm not mad about it but uh the kicker is i'm doing all of this in a uh, weighted vest so i have two 10 pound uh, rogue plates that i'll be wearing within it um, and for the walk i'm putting the incline up like super high really working the legs
so we just finished the like walk. Um, I don't know if y'all can see my Garmin, but we got a 1.34 miles, 22, 29 pace in 30 minutes. Uh, I just set the incline pretty high and just feel it in my legs. So with that being said, we are done working out for tonight. Just kind of a light little, you know, CrossFit type style and then leg burner to finish it off. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Thursday morning now. Um, just got to school or to clinic. I'm basically coming in early so I can mount a cast for a patient that I'm going to deliver a removable denture to, a removable partial denture to. Um, I have a denture case I'm starting today, so that's going to be fun. Um, first one of the year, so we'll see how that goes. I'm working with a prosthodontist, so um, it should be pretty, pretty smooth sailing today, hopefully. All right, so I'll show you how I'm kind of mounting this cast and everything, and see you when clinic is because over. Because the patient is missing their maxillary molars, I put some denture base plate wax to kind of simulate the distance between her two arches. I put some mounting stone on there, kind of make it into a mountain, and then what I end up doing is waiting for it to dry just a little bit to where I can start adding more on on the outside of it. This kind of gives it more strength um, once everything starts setting a little bit, what you can do is use like a wet finger or paper towel and smooth it out. That just kind of makes it a lot prettier. And then at the very end, you can go in with a knife and just take off the stone. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We're back inside now. I'll try to post, uh, at least once a week. Just going to keep on running and keep on living life. So. I uh, hope y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.